How to Use Expensifier Tutorial for Beginners. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how to use Expensify for beginners. If you're looking for an efficient and user-friendly solution to manage your expenses and streamline your financial tracking, Expensify is the perfect tool for you. Expensify is a comprehensive expense management software that simplifies the process of capturing, tracking, and reporting expenses. So whether you're a freelancer, small business owner, or simply someone looking to better manage their personal finances, Expensify can help you save time and help you gain better control over your expenses. So, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is of course access Expensify. To be able to access Expensify, you're going to have to go to Expensify.com and you will be redirected to this page over here which is what we are seeing right now. Now to be able to register or connect to Expensify, you could either choose from your email, phone number, Google or Apple over here. You can simply select the option that you would like to use for you to start your journey with Expensify. Now after registering or signing up, you will be redirected to this page over here. This is basically the home page or the starting page of Expensify. Over here on the left side, you have your inbox, expenses, report, settings, and support over here if ever you need some questions. You can also have your chat support over here, which would assist you as much as possible. Now, the first thing we're going to have to explore is the inbox. Now, everyone knows what the inbox is for and how it functions. This is where you will be able to receive notification and information about your expenses or any reports about your account. For example, over here we have concierge. Here's the list of reports and charts that need your attention. And then you will be able to respond to direct messages in this section as you can see. You can simply click on respond and then you will be able to respond to this specific message over here. For example, by doing this, you will be redirected to this page over here. As you can see in this section, this is where we will be able to chat with different people or our Expensify over here, their support system as you can see, you could either have a new chat, have a new group, send money, request money, or split the bill with different people. You could connect to different people using Expensify also. Now going back here, you also have your another option over here. If ever you would like to know more information about Expensify, you could either choose from the business option or individual option which would help you track your invoices and your taxes in this section. Now over here, we're going to explore the expenses this time. We're going to click on expenses. And then in this section, you will be able to either drag a receipt into this page or create a new expense using the button above. The button being spoken is about this button over here on the top right. You can also change the view of your expenses over here. Right now, we are using this view over here. You could change it with this view this view and the char chart over here, depending on how you would like to see your different expenses. You also have your filters over here, which will filter your expenses. You could choose which date it is from and then which date it is to. You can also choose a merchant if ever you have a merchant. You also have your all, billable, reimbursable, and you could also choose the types over here like expenses, receipts, or document. You can also choose from my expenses only other submitters and all submitters over here you can also choose to open process or approve or reimburse or close or deleted options over here which would show you different things for example you chose the open only it will show you all the open expenses that you have same thing with processing approve reimbursed and closed and deleted over here now to be able to create your expense you're simply going to click this option over here which would allow you to create either a manual create, a scan receipt, create multiple, you could also choose time, or you could also have a distance over here like manual create or create from map. Now let's see how we will be able to create a manual version. So let's click on manual create and then it will show us this pop-up over here. You could enter a merchant name, it depends on you depending on who your client is or who your merchant is. For example, we have a client named John. So we're simply going to have John over here and then on the date, you can simply select the date that you want to use or to want to have for your expense. 
you have your total over here. Let's say we have 1,000. And then for the category, you could choose simply any option that you have here. You have advertising, benefits, car, equipment, fees, home office, insurance, interest, labor, maintenance, materials, mills and entertainment, and office supplies, and many more over here as you can see. Depending on what category you would like, you can simply choose accurate or the appropriate one. You also have your attendees over here, which is you. You could also add a description to be able to help you identify what this expense was for. You could add whatever description that you want. It is completely up to you. And you also have your report over here. You have new and none over here. To be able to create new, you can simply click on new over here. Now you could also attach a receipt into this expense section over here by simply clicking this option over here on the right side. By clicking this, you will be able to either import it from your computer or drag it into this page over here. You also have your distance over here, like distance per miles and then rate, and then your amount over here. You also have your time in this section and multiple in this option. As you can see here, there is a multiple option. But for us, we're going to stick with this one and then click on save. And then it will refresh the page and you will be able to see your expense over here. As you can see, we could change the view to this version. As you can see here, it is currently unreported and we have 1000 as an amount and then our, our categories over here is uncategorized because we didn't choose any but you can simply choose it once again over here for example it is for equipment and it will show as an equipment over here you could also have your description in this section depending on what you would like to have as your description you could also check out your reports over here on the left side we could check this out by clicking this in this section it is very similar with the expense this is where you will be able to Create your expenses. You could adjust the filters to the left or create a new report using the button above as you can see here. The filters are very similar with the expenses as you can see here. We have the from and to. You could also search the ID, name, or email over here. You could also check out the different report types. We have expenses, invoices, and bills. You have your submitters over here or my, my reports only and then your different policies over here. You also have your open, processing, approved, reimbursed, and closed reports over here to help you with your filter. Now, to be able to create your new report, you're simply going to click this option over here. You could either create an expense report, invoice report, or bulk import invoices. So we're going to go with the expense report over here. By doing this, we will be able to be redirected or see this section over here. As you can see here, we have expense report 2023 6 and 06 over here. You can simply type whatever report you have here and you could add an expense in this section. You could click on add expense and then we could choose the expense that we have created earlier. For example, this one. And then after that, as you can see, added expense from John for 1000 pesos to the report. And then we could exit this. And as you can see here on our report, we will now be able to see the expenses that we have just done earlier. We have the date, the merchant, which is John, the description, the random thing that we typed earlier, and then our total over here. Then we have our notes over here if we would like to have some notes. And we could also write something that we would like to enter over here. And you could also attach a file if you would like to attach a file over here. And then after this, as you can see, it is currently marked as open. It is waiting for us to submit this expenses and we could either mark as close over here or we could add another expense if we would like or we can simply click on submit over here and then we could submit it to ourselves. We also have our CC and memo over here. We could also attach a PDF if we would like and click on send and it will be sent to whoever you have assigned it to but for us as you can see it is assigned to ourselves so this will be sent to ourselves and as you can see here we could either mark this as reimbursed we could also close this undo the close or we could export it as a csv or create a csv export layout we could also check out details over here on the right side as you can see it is an expense report the policy is just expenses and you could also see how you would view this we have basic or we could have detail you have your group by and split by over here. You could also change your expenses by clicking this option over here by editing the expenses. You could also check out the sharing option and then print report. 
and you could also download this as a PDF if you would like to have this as a PDF. Now in the settings, you will be able to check out different settings in this section like your name, your photo, your two-way factor authentication, all of this option over here, your secondary login, and all of this option that you are seeing right now. You could also close your account in this section over here if ever you would like to close your account. You can also check out your preferences, expense rules, credit card import, and payments over here. Now, if ever you need some questions, you can simply go to support over here and then you will be redirected to this chat-like page over here that we saw earlier and they will be able to assist you 24 hours over here with any type of support that you ask them to. And that's it guys, that's how you can use Expensify as a beginner. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.